that's from? Uh, it's going good. I'm in New York. Uh, I'm super excited to do this. And in these COVID times, have you been waiting to come visit India? Yeah, actually, yes. I am. I'm. I was supposed to visit earlier, but uh, it couldn't happen because of COVID. So yeah, hopefully this this dies down a little bit, and I can come visit because it's been a long time. It's been a long wait for everyone across the world. But uh, you're here joining us to talk about your latest film, The Illegal. It's about the idea of the American dream, and what really stands out from the trailer is the effort to add authenticity to the immigrant experience. Mm-hmm. Yes, I agree. Um, you know, there are ideas, there are perspectives that people carry when it comes to immigrants. You know, I said this earlier, but the, I'm going to take just the Indian perspective on this. Right, there are two two situations that happen. One is a person assumes this person has made it to America. He's made it. He's done it already. You know, and the other one is this person works in a restaurant. As a bus boy or a delivery guy or or a servo, he's really going to be struggling. His dreams have been crushed. Poor guy, you know. These are two generalized perspectives that I find most common, right? And neither of these are necessarily true, you know. Obviously, one of the main things about authenticity of any kind is that you know everybody's different, everybody's story is different, and and you can never generalize, but. Um, yes, that was the goal to try and find a story that is authentic to itself, and that tells one of the stories of many uh, in regards with the immigrant experience in the U.S. So, how do you make a film that tugs at people's heartstrings, but at the same time veers away from being manipulated? I think the thing that pe- that really uh, gets to people is uh, the truth of a story. You know, that's that because. Truth is something that everybody feels, everybody is familiar with, you know. So we try to make this story as true to Hassan as possible, as true to his experience, which was that going somewhere with all these dreams and so much opinion and you know so much gusto and motivation, and then realizing that life and reality has its own thing, and it will it will you know put challenges in front of you, and sometimes those challenges are very like seem like you can't even. You can never overcome them, but if you don't give up and if you keep going, then maybe you can. Maybe your dreams can come true. Just don't forget them and don't lose hope. Just keep going. So that was Hassan's experience. I feel. I feel like you really believe in his experience as well, uh, from the passion with which you are talking to me about it. Uh, Danish Renzu had also made In Search of America in 2014. You know, he so he is somebody. who has uh, told the story of the immigrant experience and you as well are from delhi like the lead character you're a film uh, you know you were a film student as well so there's a lot of uh, credibility that is attached to this film yeah i feel like it was very familiar to me it was very familiar to danish obviously danish Uh, you know he's had his life he he came to the us and was also a filmmaker also a student also trying to succeed also doing all these things um in my case yeah i was from delhi also came as a fi- to study film and all this there are many things that really uh, you know uh, kind of ground us in the movie in the story um also my experience in new york making friends with people who work in restaurants and sometimes you know uh, you know people who aren't necessarily uh legally over there just working and trying to survive uh, these things really inform me you know learning about their lives their struggles their dreams their hopes you know it really affected me and this was before i read the script you know so when i read the script suddenly i was like wow this is the moment i can help tell this story i know these stories you know i i know them so i i should i might as well and uh, it's been a great experience so Well, the illegal had its international premiere at the 2019 Austin Film Festival. It was also screened at Mami in 2019, and it was also shortlisted for the Oscars in the Best Picture category. But it, it didn't make it to uh, the final nominations. What is the significance of awards for you, especially after being part of a much lauded film like Life of Pi? I mean, I feel like awards are great recognition for the work. everybody who on the film has put in i feel like it's nice to know that people are watching this people are appreciating this um of course for me the most important thing is the story itself 
what we put into set, the work, the thought, the creativity, the collaboration that goes into set, that for me is very, very personal and important. And that's what makes all this happen if it does happen, you know. Uh, but it's great to know that people are enjoying it, people are appreciating it, and and and, and it's getting you know some accolades to 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 show that. So it's it's great. All right. And what did you personally learn through the course of this film? Well, many things. First of all, this was a great time for me to kind of go through everything that I had seen and learned and kind of internalize it in terms of the people that live in New York, the people and their struggles. Um, also, obviously, I, as a person coming from Delhi in New York, as an Indian actor, all these things, they result in at least a certain amount of struggle for everybody, you know, uh, in order to do what you want to do. Um, so it was a good time to, like, you know, reflect on that, think about that, work on that, uh, listen to Danish's stories, uh, collaborate with the people we did. It was all great. I learned a lot. So it's been, it's been really, it's been good. But you have a great supporting cast in terms of Adil Hussain or Shweta Tripathi. So tell me about the experience of working with them. So, well, me and Adil have a very long history. Uh, I love him. I feel like he is a mentor to me. He's been amazing. He's a, he, he knows how I feel about him. He's amazing. Um, Shweta to talking to her was fantastic. She's got this uplifting energy, so much good spirit and you know, good positive energy. So it was awesome. Unfortunately, I mean, we didn't really have any scenes where we were acting opposite each other because I was, you know, in the US story, they were back home, you know, except for a phone call or two. Um, so it would have been nice to, or maybe eventually we'll get to, <laughs> you know, work together in person. Um, but it was great watching the outcome. It was great seeing how the Hassan's story mixed with his dad's story and his sister's story all come together, you know, in hopefully an organic and good, real uh, manner. So, yeah, it was great. Well, considering this film premiered in 2019, it's been quite a wait to bring it to the audience. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, it's been a long time coming. Um, so I'm super stoked. I'm so glad that, you know, Amazon Prime India did this pick this up it is going with this because i think it's an important story I, I think it's a good movie um so you know hopefully we'll get to see what people think i'm really curious about that really excited so i'm happy i'm really happy and is bollywood calling bollywood's always calling uh and hopefully you know it works out everything you know the story the characters um us um, but yeah, hundred percent open to it. I want to do as much as I can. So, uh, let's, let's just wait and see. All right. I hope, uh, we get to see a lot more of you, be it in Hollywood or closer home. And thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. Thank you so much.